there is only one thing left for the new covenant believer to do or experience in this life. And I'll tell you what that is, but first let me read Romans 5, 8 through 11 for you. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, whom we now have received the reconciliation. So we are justified. We now have the reconciliation. We have been made righteous. The point here is you're not going to be righteous. Sanctification is not progressive. Righteousness is not progressive. Holiness is not progressive. Now we have received the atonement. Now the blood of Christ has cleansed us and washed us and made us holy, sanctified us. We've become a, an acceptable dwelling place for the presence of God, and His Spirit can only be where it's holy. So now we're in this process of outwardly being transformed to match what's inwardly already true. The only thing that's happening with us is twofold. There's two aspects to it. We are being transformed by the renewing of our mind so that we are conformed into the image of his dear son. The only thing left for you as a believer is for Christ to be more revealed in you. Now, Christ dwells in you. In his fullness, you have the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelling within you if Christ is in you. You can't get more of God. You don't leak God. You have everything he has to give you because you have Christ. You have the anointing. You don't need another anointing. You have Christ. So the path that you're on, the process that you're in, is not to try to discover mysteries of heaven, not to try to gain more information to move you further down the path of Christianity, but for more of Christ to be revealed in your life, for you to express more of who he is inside of you. Not that you become more like him by doing things, but that your new nature, your new righteous spiritual nature has the influence over your entire life and gives God glory in this earth. See, our actions should change because of our recreated new identity, but we don't become more of something through our actions. You are in a place of perfection with, in Christ, in the Father, and all that's left for you is for Christ to be revealed within you. Rest in that truth today. Rest in the peace that you have with your Father. You don't have to try to gain more information. You don't have to try to figure out how to get God to reveal mysteries and secrets to you. He's already shown you everything that he showed Jesus. Jesus said that. I don't call you servants any longer. I call you friends. A master has revealed everything to his friends. Jesus very clearly told us that. He's, he's shown us everything that the Father showed him. So quit trying to learn and progress your way into more of being a Christian and rest and let God lead you by his spirit to reveal Christ within you. I pray this helps you today. I pray it's a blessing to you. In the link below, in the description below, there's a, a link to a full message about this topic. Be blessed and have a great day.